That's right. Black Superfan Trivia. Well, well, well. Here are three fine black gentlemen all vying for bragging rights. Who is the top black superfan? Is it Brian? Yes. Brian, hi. Hi. Brian, a lot of people were carrying on. You're evidently a very famous black man. No, no, I'm not famous. You are on a TV show called The Wire, and you're an actor. Yes, I am an actor. Yes. I'm a struggling actor. Why were you on The Wire? I played homicide detective Vernon Holly for five seasons. Okay, I do recognize you. Because Gary... I recognize you, and you're beautiful, Rob. Gary was like, oh my God, he's from my favorite TV show. Evidently, a lot of the guys in my office watch The Wire. I've never seen it. The Wire is a great show, but it's over now. I heard If you say The Wire is a great show, you imply you've seen it. I watched every episode. Of the Why do you not recognize season? Brian? Because he I'm a, was I'm, not a yeah. major character. No, I wasn't major, no. Thank you were a detective. Thank you for digging in my, my heels, Ralph. You <laughs> know what he would do? I I'll tell you what a typical scene with him was. What? You know, the other guys, the main guys would be in there having a very... <laughs> the main scene. guys. And, and right. he would walk through and say, and hand him a paper or something. Oh, oh I, would, I would have at least two lines, Robin. <laughs> Jesus. That's she's, horrible. She's right. I had, I had two episodes maybe where I was featured, but she, she's <laughs> absolutely right. For the five seasons, was it? A living? I mean, could you make some money doing The Wire? I mean, uh, no, my, is... my my best year as an actor is probably 30 G's, Howard. That's right. It's fun. a tough business. That's that's it's more tough. the reality of acting, isn't it? I do a lot of theater, but yeah, right. So yeah, I know Brian as well. I, I met watch... Artie. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've I've uh, I've heard The Wire is amazing, and unfortunately, I've never seen it. But I met uh, Brian at a road gig, and uh, he sent me some... Yeah, he sent me some letters back and forth. He's a really nice guy. Good guy. Brian, uh, you even worked in a film with Fred Norris. Is that correct? Oh, shit. I did, I did, I did, I did not have the pleasure of working with Fred, but yeah, Fred Cold Hearts. You played uh, Uncle Joe. Oh, then I, you yeah. definitely were not there on the beach. I was no, working with no. a chick that night. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> but you were in the same movie, I take <laughs> yeah. it. Yes, All yes. Right. Okay, so, so, Fred. so how do you make nice a living otherwise? You. I mean, do you just do it from acting or do you have yeah, another job? Yeah, from acting. That's uh, it. From, uh, you know, theater and film. I'm, I'm a... Uh, it's a new film uh, coming out called Shelter with Julianne Moore that I'm in. Oh, that's good. And uh, Explicit Ills with uh, Mark Webber, who wrote and directed it. And what do you do? You go on auditions and you have oh, to yeah. sit there and act uh, and all that yeah. stuff? Nobody's just, you don't have a quote. They don't just call you. Well, I used to have a quote, but because of the economy, you just, mm. you know, you, a lot of people work, for, uh, on my level, work for scale. Yeah. You know? During the uh, uh, re- recent years, didn't you work with Ben Stiller, in fact? I did. I'm keeping the faith on Edward Norton's story. Uh, how yeah. is that? Did he, uh, was he friendly towards you? Are you guys best friends? Now? Oh, we, no, we're not best friends. He, would he recognize you if he... <laughs> no, he would not recognize me. I mean, we had, we had three scenes together in the yeah. movie, but they were very quick. It was a 14-hour day on Wall Street. Because was, was he friendly Sunday. to you during the scenes, or uh, did uh, he keep he, his distance? He got a little pissed off at me. Why? Why? Well, because we were doing a scene where I actually closed arm him in the last scene of the movie. And it's a, uh, you did what? I mean, last, my last scene of the movie. I clothesline him. You closed it. You, you, you fist bumped. No. no, like uh, he was—he was running like this, trying to get to Jenna Elfman. Yes, and he ran into my arm. Oh, so you like stick out your arm while he's running toward Jenna Elfman, and right. you block him out like yes. a, a physical. It's that's a clothesline. It's yeah. from football, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Your, yeah. Arm hits, your arm hits your arm hits where your neck right. just goes. Like, but we we worked it out with the stunt coordinator, and um, and then he came in and he was like, "I don't want you to touch me. I don't want you to touch me." <laughs> well, I, you know, I have stage combat training. I know what I was doing, but I couldn't say anything. He's a big star, right? So when we did the scene, he would do that, and I would not, never touch him, but then he complained that the recoil was not authentic, and I was like, I, well, I couldn't say anything to him, but right. it's not going to be authentic because I can't touch you. Yeah. So, you know, he, he Is it got, his fault that if he can't make it look like he hit you? That, no, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not his fault, but, you know. I believe it is. He, uh, you know, he's a big star. I mean, he's All a brilliant right. did you, physical comedian. Did you yell back? or did Hell you just, no. <laughs> Brian, how long have you been a listener to the show? Since 1989, Howard. My first wife turned me on to the show. Do you think that you are going to be the winner in Black Superfan Trivia. Well, I, uh, Ron, who's from uh, Long Island, psyched me out. He said he was going to win <laughs> right. in, the, in the green room. And he's, he's a New York listener, so he's probably... And Cyrus calls in all the time. Let I me know. say hi to Cyrus. Cyrus, you are a second contestant. We'll get, we'll get to all the guys. But, Cyrus, you call in at least a couple of times a week, don't you? Yeah. yeah hey, now. You, where you, hey, now. Where are you from, Cyrus? I'm from Philly. And you're definitely black. In fact, you're blacker. <laughs> definitely You're black. blacker than was Brian. Was there a question? <laughs> Aren't black, you? He's a black I would You are that. much darker than Brian. I'd say you're ten shades darker. Well, you're not, God. You know he's not I mean, Brian's dark. about pretty white, actually. I, I think he could pass, don't you? I actually I thought you were going to call me uh, white. I thought I was like, no. going to be the lightest. Look at the, lo- the long, uh, uh, straight hair. Yeah, well, well, well. 
Yeah. Well, Cyrus, uh, no, you're definitely blacker, but do you think you're going to win this? I wouldn't have came all the way up here if I didn't think so. Do you think Brian qualifies as a black contestant? Even? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's white and he's trying to act all black. Yeah, see, the, you know, acting work is slim right now. He's taking right. all roles. I'm Brian's, Barack. Uh, Brian's white uh, until he tries to get a cab, believe me. <laughs> right. Exactly. Uh, Cyrus, what do you do for a living? Do we know? Uh, I call him to shows for a living. So you, you're a retired gentleman? Retired? <laughs> you're Captain Jack. You're the black Captain Jack. No. You seem, uh, you seem very young to be just hanging around and uh, not working. No, I work. You do work? Yeah, I what work. What kind the, of work do you do? I work for the gas company. Oh, you do? Yeah. And you, uh, so you have a regular job, and you get to hear the show every day, and you get to hear enough of the show that you think you are a super fan and that you will win the trivia contest. I know I'm a super fan, Howard. I see. And, um, and you have an interesting past. In, in doing a little pre-interview with you, you claim you were once raped by a woman. Whoa! Is that true? It's true. <laughs> yeah. How does one get raped by a woman? Because no one's believing Explain, you. Explain, please. Yeah. You mean you're so hot that a woman oh, needed no. to rape you? No, it's... Um... I didn't realize it until like 10 years f from that day. Um, what happened was... <laughs> yeah, because it's so rare. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you were raped, you didn't even realize you were raped. You Hell went into no. shock, yes. No, what happened was uh, I went over to this girl's house, and we was about to do it. And she, her phone rang. She left the room, left for an hour. And I was, like, really tired from work. Oh. Mm. So I went to sleep. And, I, you know, she said, uh, you got to get that shit up. And I'm like, no. Nah, oh. Let me, um, I'll get you later. Just let me sleep. Right. <laughs> She walks out the room, comes back with this big ass knife, and puts it to my oh, neck. Oh wow! And she's um she's a blood because I was out in California then, right? Right. And her she she's with her in the gang, the Bloods. Yep. All right. And her brother lived with her. It was a big dude. Right. She said, "Look, I want to tell my brother that you hit me, and he has a gun." Oh no! All, all the time while she had that um knife to my throat. Wow. So uh, <laughs> well, she must have been super horny, huh, Cyrus? Man, uh, I guess so. Yeah, she wanted it then and now. Boy, no woman has ever. Uh, Done that to me. Taking a knife to you and said, "You nah. better do me. You That's better get cool. that shit up." <laughs> yeah, so, now, how do you do that? I yeah. had to keep that shit up because I went. To, went I didn't even nut. I just wanted her to get her shit right. so I can get the hell out of there and I, never see her ass again. It sounds like you're not that attracted to her either because uh, you didn't even come, you say. No, I because I was scared shitless. I, right. I just wanted to make sure if I came and she didn't get her nut, what the fuck was going to happen to me? Right. <laughs> So after you, after you boned her and she came, you didn't even finish coming. You just got out of there. And you said, that's it. The last time I'm seeing her. Good move. Hell yeah. Yeah, well, you're very smart to do that. Uh, all right. So <laughs> Cyrus is our second contestant in black superfan trivia. There goes Cyrus in his car, leaving the girl. <laughs> and finally, we come to our third contestant, a very distinguished gentleman, a black gentleman, of course. Ron. Ron, how are you? I'm good, Howard. How are you? I'm good. Ron has been a fan of the show since 1997. 1997, and you never liked the show at first, and then I guess uh, somehow you got into it. What, what, was, what was the turning point? Well, none of my black friends liked the show, and the only reason I did start listening is because I was working with some contractors, and they had the radio. <laughs> and you got caught up in it. Exactly, and, I, and I, once I really gave it a listen, I started to love it. Right, and, you, and so you started to work with the contractors, and they liked the show. You listened, you got into it. Did you tell your other black friends, or did you just say, hey, I'm going to keep this my secret? No, I tell them, but they think I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> they still don't. They still don't want to No, they hate me. <laughs> Why is that? Black people love fun. They love hijinks. They love uh, comedy. I mean, they're fans of comedy, of course. Why, why would they be against the show? I don't even understand. I, I think they, most of them think you're racist. Howard. Oh, I know. Exactly. Why do I get tagged with the racist? Thing? I don't know. Really. Whenever you do a skit or something, you see, uh, someone says the N word or something, they take it personal. Right. I understand. I don't know. All right. Well, listen, not everyone's hip to what we're doing. Hey, here. fuck your friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say, Artie. Fuck them. You keep listening. Ryan, you're quite the player. Oh, you, stop it. Don't start that. Married for 13 years. You have seven kids from four different women. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. How did You've that happen, You've been married Ron? four times? No, no. I was only married. I'm only married once. But he had seven kids from four different women. You never got to marry these women, huh? I didn't like most of them. Did you oh. ever, did you ever <laughs> would you consider wearing a rubber when you were with these women? Not usually, Howard. Right. You don't like to wear rubber. A lot well, of black guys do not like to wear rubber, well, right? Well, back then, I mean, the, the youngest of these kids now is 17, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this was a long time ago. Right. What is that like for you financially? That's got to be a big hit. Devastating, it. Howard. I paid 18 yeah. grand last year in child support. $18,000 in child support for these grand. kids. Wow. Yes. Do you have contact with all of them, or is it almost impossible? I hate all of them. You do? Oh. <laughs> you hate all That's kids very honest. Kids all their cracks up to be. Would you recommend other people have children? Or no. You? Jason, don't ever do it. Right. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so, Howard, yes. I was going to say, 
$15,000 divided by seven kids. It's $1,100 a year for a kid. Yeah, something like that. Uh, that's yeah. a lot Shut of money. up, Gary. You're rich. <laughs> yeah. 50 cent pay what? 50 cent pay? Well, Ryan, you don't make a lot of money, right? I'm making in the low 60s. Low 60s. What, what does he do? I'm a facility manager. Facility Whatever manager? You had a little trouble? <laughs> but for a while, you, were you dealing drugs or what were you doing? You went to prison for a while, right, Ron? Well, I did eight months in jail. I was the, I was the worst drug dealer in the world. Are you kidding me? You were a bad drug yeah, dealer. Forget me. I, he I, didn't make any money in No, drugs? I used up all my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've done a few of those. Wow. You mean you were, you you would uh, not really you would use all your inventory? No, this was a long time. This is like twenty years ago. 20 yeah, years and ago. your friends don't like us. It's really okay. Yeah, it is okay. <laughs> you know, I, I got a beef with uh, motherfuckers like this guy because there were drug dealers that would tell me they had the shit, and by the time I drive over there, they don't have the shit because well, they used it all, and they're fucking high. Yeah. Well, Ron, <laughs> so done, Aunt. <laughs> so Ron, so the kids that you had, they're not even nice to you. Hey man, listen, it is what it is. I pay for them. I don't give a shit. They don't got to be nice to me. Whatever. Right. Oh. But, uh, well, you sound very bitter about it. I am very bitter. What 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 goes wrong when you see the kids? You ever say to them, "Hey, kids, can't you be nice to me?" Hey, listen, man, I, I can't make nobody like me, Howard. I'm not right. trying to. I'm too old for this shit. Forget about it. And was he in the kids' lives? <laughs> I mean, did he try visiting? And you I tried. tried. Their mothers are cunts. <laughs> <laughs> Get him! Do you Get love them? Do you love them at all? I love my my wife. I'm with two kids. With, well, two kids I live with now. I'm, yeah, I, love, okay I love them. The other one can go to shit. Right. Oh boy! All right. Well, it sounds like a bitter situation. Yes. But, so you think you are the biggest black super fan? Is that I have right? no question. I'm gonna I'm gonna whip you. Yo, all right, how about a little action? I got 50. I beat these guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm in. <laughs> all right. Well, it's time to play. All three gentlemen are regular fans of the show. They like to listen to the show. We have Brian, the actor, Cyrus, who, of course, was raped by a woman. <laughs> That's his claim to fame. And Ron, who hates his kids and is the world's Ron's worst drug dealer. Ron's been raped, too. <laughs> In I a different way, yeah. His pockets. Yeah, poor Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, it's very simple. When you hear the question, buzz in. You lock the other guys out because the light will light up. So we'll know who comes in first. Hey, Howard. Yeah. If you want, you can let each guy buzz in so you can hear their noise. Yeah. Now, Brian oh, here. Brian, damn. press your buzzer so we can hear your noise. Here we go, Howard. Hey, now. Go ahead. Yo, 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 yo. That's your noise. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Cyrus, let's hear your noise. Obama! All right. <laughs> and, Ron, let's hear your noise. Hello. I don't hear it. There'll be no noise. <laughs> Peace and love, peace and love. Let's, let's, hear, let's hear yours. There you go. Gluckle, gluckle, gluckle. Oh, there, there you go. go. All right, that's you, Ron. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Morgan. Yes. <laughs> that's right. one of Ron's uh, ex-wives. Uh, who made that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go through them. Five-point questions. That's it. Whoever at the end of this game has the most points is black superfan trivia expert. Hey, Alex, if, 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 we, if we answer wrong, do we get a point taken away? You do not. Oh, okay. Where's right. the hands? So go, answer him. Your hands can go anywhere you want, except in Brian's lap. Oh, well, <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's kind of cute. All right, here we go, fellas. I wish you all luck, and thank you for playing. Thank you. And I tell you what, let's make it a little bit interesting. How about I throw a little money to the winner oh, of right, this yeah. contest? Hey now, I got my good sponsor, ManGroomer.com, and you guys got back hair. Yeah, nah. you got it, Brian. Jason and I are twins in the back. Yeah. The new Man Groomer is the essential do-it-yourself electric back hair shaver. Only thirty-nine ninety-nine. Go to ManGroomer.com or your local Target store to get one today. ManGroomer.com. Maintain yourself. We say I give a thousand bucks to the winner. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. How generous oh, are you? Hey, hey, Santa Claus All is right. in the room. Buzzing in now. All right, now we're getting serious, right? All right here we go. Just buzz in when you know the answer. How Howard often says this actor is the blackest actor in the world. Obama! Oh, oh, what's right. Wesley Snipes. So, yeah. Cyrus is on the board. Don't yeah. answer till I call your name, but Cyrus, you were first, in fact, and Wesley Snipes is right with five <laughs> points on the board. Good. Name the black janitor Howard often Obama! had on as a guest on K-Rock. Go ahead, Cyrus. Ted. Ted the janitor uh, is Cyrus correct. Cyrus out to uh, a Ten fast point lead. start. He's faster than you. He's quick. All right, fellas, here we go. Name the black cleaning woman Howard yo, often yo, had yo, on yo, guest yo. on ah. WNBC, Brian. Janie. Janie, the cleaning woman, is correct, nice. Brian, on yeah, the board. Brian. I knew the other two, too, but he's fast. Uh, Ron, uh, how you doing over there? My shit ain't working. He's All kicking right. our ass right now. All right, here we go. want to test his buzzer once more just to make sure. I'll bet you Ron will get it. T- test your buzzer. Go ahead. It works. It works. You got to beat the other guys out. 
All right, I bet you Ron will do good with this one. Here we go. What Long Island town did Howard's parents refuse yo, yo, to yo, move yo, yo, out yo. of even after all the other white families moved out? Brian. That would be um, Roosevelt. That is correct. That would be correct. Now, remember, if one of you gets it wrong, you can always buzz in and get, you know. And, okay. Try your hand at it. All right, Roosevelt's correct. So we've got a 10-10 game. We've got Brian, the actor, with 10 points. We've got Cyrus, who was raped by a woman, <laughs> at 10 points. And Ron, still nothing on the board, Ron. Come on. Here we go. Which black singer once bragged on the show that he drew a picture of the ass he wanted the plastic surgeon to give his wife? Ooh. Ah. All right. oh. Yo, 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 Brian, yo, yo. go ahead. You just made it in. Mr. James Brown. And that yeah. is correct. Right. If you remember correctly, James Brown went with his wife to the plastic surgeon and drew out the ass he wanted for his <laughs> wife. Uh, here we go. Which black porn star did Scott the Engineer agree to get ass fucked by for $250,000 before changing his mind? Brian. Lexington Steele. That is correct. Let me point out Lexington Steele is not gay and did not want to ask about Scott. And now we have a change in the lead of this game. Brian is going at a rapid pace with 20 points. Cyrus, who was raped by a woman, (laughs) at 10 points. And Ron, who hates his kids, is at zero points. Now, Ron, I think, was predicting that he was going to win. So I guess he's going to be answering a question. I messed up again, Robin. (laughs) Robin, you're right. I think what Ron's strategy is, is he's going to wait until right now to come out and leap ahead. Here we go. (laughs) Big Black, King of All Blacks, Angry Black. Which one is a street cleaner? Yo, 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 yo. And that's Brian again. That would be King of All Blacks. That is correct. King of All Blacks is right. Now you're at 25 points. Cyrus, what's happening? I was just a little slow in that one. Ron, what's happening? I know the answers. I can't buzz. All right, here we go. If you know the answer, answer this one. Who did Crazy Cabby fight to draw in contention for a tension boxing match in 2001? Let's go right back to Brian. Oh, 2001. uh, Stuttering John? Wrong. Somebody else want to buzz in? Somebody else want to buzz in? No takers on oh, that one. The come answer on, Ron. was. Come on, Cyrus. Come on. The answer sorry. is, sorry, Angry Black. Angry, angry Black. Angry Black. All right, but that's okay. You didn't lose any points there. Okay. Shit. All right, complete the song lyric. The house next door to me has yo, been yo, sold yo, yo, to yo, yo. Brian. I'm sorry to say niggers. That's right. <laughs> the N-word was used in that song. You are absolutely right. And that's another... I'm no, sorry. it was niggers. No, it was, niggers. It was, it was yeah. the other one. Robin knows. Uh, 30 points for Brian. Cyrus, who was raped by a woman, 10 points. And Ron, who hates his kids, at zero. <laughs> Here we go. Name the black character played by Howard. That suggested we yo, rename yo, 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 Nebraska yo. Nebraska and make it an all-black state. Brian. Brian again. Oh, shit. Um, uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, shit is not the answer? No, no, no. Uh, the helicopter guy. Uh, oh, gruggle, 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 gruggle. All right, let's go to I'm Ron. Sorry. Ron, go ahead. Mama look a boo You're yeah. on the board with five yeah. points. Yeah. Mama Look a Boo Day is the character Mama who Luka wanted Luka to name Luka. Nebraska Nebraska and move all blacks to Nebraska. All right, Ron, now you're rolling. Here we go. Charlie Superfly is better known as who on oh, the show? Mama! Miss Black Howard Stern. Miss Black Howard Stern. Oh! Cyrus is right for no, another five points. Cyrus now up to 15 points. Which black celebrity has Howard admitted to being romantically linked to? Oh, Cyrus, you got it. Robin Givens. Robin yeah. Givens is correct, and now you have 15, 20 points. It's 30 for Brian in the lead, 20 points for Cyrus, who was uh, raped by a woman, and Ron, who hates his kid, with five in third place. A lot of Here people we thought go. that was Al Sharpton. No, actually, oh. Which Biggie small song does Artie yo, often yo, rap yo, on yo, the yo. air? Let's go, Brian. Uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, the, um... That is wrong. Wind, uh, call it. Uh, Give me the loot. Give me the loot is right, Ryan. You're on the board with ten points now. You're I didn't coming even know up that. There. Yeah. Ron, coming up from behind. I knew Give me the loot is, is the Biggie small song that uh, Artie sings it all the time. Give me the loot. Let me recap. <laughs> Brian, the actor, 30 points. He's on the TV show The Wire for five years. Cyrus, of course, who was raped by a black woman, he has 20, 20. points. And Ron, 10 <laughs> points. He hates his kids. Okay, Damn, here we go. Like Shit is real. <laughs> tell me what I'm Which African American guest did Sal the stockbroker announce he yo, was yo, the yo, white yo, devil yo. to shortly after his on air interview? Let's go to Brian. Mr. Mr. Russell Grubble, Simmons. Grubble. Mr. Russell Simmons is correct, and that is 35 points for you. What was the name of the button Gary had to hit whenever yo, a yo, black yo, yo, customer yo. entered the clothing store he worked at as a team? Wow, Let's go Brian to Brian. Again. The swoogie Grubble, button. Grubble, the swoogie button is correct. That's right. Gary had to hit the button whenever a black person walked into his store. 
Which black musician demonstrated on Robin how he'd lift her up and yo, fuck yo, her yo, against yo, the yo. wall if given a chance? Let's go to Brian again. That would be uh, the, the Mr. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, let's go to Ron. Y Clef John. Y Clef John is correct with 15 points. Right, I like that, Robin. Where are we in this game? All right. We have four questions left, and now the rules change. Ah. Each question is 10 points, See? and Rock you so lose 10 points if you get it oh. wrong. Now you got to be careful. All right. Let's find out who the black super fan Give really is. Give us the is. score now. Uh, listen, Brian is in the lead. He is an actor, and he has 40 points. Cyrus, who was raped by a woman is at 20 points. And Ron in third place with 15 points. Now, anything can happen with these four 10-point yeah. questions. Sure then, we, then we move into our audio round. So oh, let's get it right. Fuck. Here we go. <laughs> fuck. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right. right. That's my friends. It's that kind of game. Show. It's not K-Rock. Here we go. Remember, don't buzz in so quick. Yeah, Think yeah. about this. Mm. You'll lose 10 I'm points. i beat Cyrus. He's fast. Which black athlete Lifted Robin up off the ground and bench pressed her over his head. Oh, shit. Mm, everybody backing off those buttons. Whoa, I'm uh, shocked you don't know this. Oh, every uh, every great black oh, superfan trivia oh, expert should know this. All right, I'm going to say the game. That question no is answer. over. The answer was Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, Shaquille O'Neal was in here and lifted oh, Robin over I his knew head. That. All right, listen and I'd like carefully. To say, no one came to my aid. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of the room. I, I saw Shaquille one time. He's, he makes me look like a. He like, is big. I shouldn't say that. Right. And a great guest. Yes. Here we go. Which black musician once described in great detail what he'd do on a date with Robin? Yo, 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 yo. Which included cooking for her. Brian, go ahead. That would be Mr. Clarence Clemens. And that's 10 points that you just earned. Ooh, Cyrus, you're shaking your head, 50. and so is Ron. What happened, Cyrus? I knew that. You I knew that. So did I. But you got to have confidence. Ron, you got to have confidence. You sounded so confident at now the beginning of this. Now is the time to gamble because the game is almost over. Well, you, we still have the audio rounds you coming up. You just replayed up. that, too. All right, here we go. Brian's still in the lead with 50 points, Cyrus with 20, and Ron with 15. Here we go. While Howard was on in Washington, D.C., uh -oh. he went on a popular public television show hosted by this African-American who was later immortalized oh. in the movie Talk to Me. Let's Damn. go to Ron. Ron? Petey Green. Petey Green is right. Ten yeah, points, Ron. Ron. That's how you get yeah, in the game. Ron. You got to take chances. you're making chances. a play. All right, Ron. I saw that movie, too. That's right. It was a good movie. Great. Here we go. Don Cheetah. And now here's your final 10-point question, then we'll move into the audio round. Which New York mayor did oh. Robin accuse Gary of voting for because it would calm yo, down yo, the yo, black yo, people? Yo. <laughs> All right, Brian. That would be Mayor Dinkins. That's 10 points. I mayor believe Dinkins. Gary said that. I didn't accuse him. He did say it. <laughs> Gary voted for Mayor Dinkins to calm down the black people. <laughs> I never said that. I dare you to produce a tape. I heard Please. the tape, Gary. I heard. I, I you, interviewed you, I and said, that's what you I said. I said I thought that the city would be less polarized. I didn't say it would oh. calm down the blacks. <laughs> Semantics, Gary. Semantics. What do the Polish people have to do with the Polish people? All right. Let's get serious now. Black super fan trivia. We have our good friends at mangroomer.com giving me some money here. The winner is going to have $1,000 in his pocket. All right. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be audio. I'm going to play you some audio. And you will answer. Now, each question is worth, again, 10 points. Oh, 10. But if you get it wrong, you lose 10 points. All right. Okay? Fair enough? Fair. All right. This is it. There's only four of these. So this is going to determine the whole thing. You guys are close enough that anyone can win. Yep. All right. Here we go. Name the African-American celebrity who uttered this phrase. I would love to. Yo, 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 yo. Brian, you got in first. I would love to. O.J. O.J. Simpson is correct. That is very good. You have 10 more points. You're at 70. Cyrus at 20. Ron moving up because he's got 25 points. All right. Here we go. Identify the speaker in this clip. All right, Cyrus. Hate man. Hate man is right. That's 10 points right there on the board. That's what you need to do. All right, name the African American who said this. Suck a muckle, though. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Brian, you got there first. Mr. Riley Martin. Riley Martin is correct. Now up to 80 points for Brian. This is the final question. I think I think you've got this one in the bag. But uh, which African American athlete once sang this song to Robin? It's so yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Loving somebody. 
somebody, when somebody love you back. All right, Brian, you seem to be on a roll. What is it? Well, I met Mr. Joe, uh, Mr. Joe Frazier. You are the greatest black super fan to have ever I lived so. right now. He's not. He's faster Cyrus. than everyone else. He ain't, well, I, I know Cyrus. all of them. Cyrus, congratulating Ron. You're bitter. I'm not congratulating no fucking body. You're not <laughs> congratulating. <laughs> and he's you also the lightest so skin guy. Do you, so did you feel I that? I am. Why are you so loser? What happened? What do you think about him? I, my button ain't working, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. It's working. Everybody can work it but you, Ron. Yes, that's right. I learned from Cyrus. I knew those two questions, but he was faster. So. Uh, I'll tell you what, Brian. You've won $1,000. It's courtesy of wow. the uh, newmangroomer.com. And I'll tell you what, for our other contestants, Cyrus and Ron, I like you guys. I'll let you guys split uh, 500 bucks, so you each get 250 All How's right. that? All from mangroomer.com. And I'm telling you, I love the mangroomer. Thank you, mangroomer. It, it yeah, is thanks, the man. essential do-it-yourself electric back hair shaver. Only $39.99. Go to mangroomer.com or your local Target store to get one today. Mangroomer.com. Maintain yourself. Brian, how's it feel to be the greatest black super fan trivia expert? It feels wonderful. It's surreal, Howard. I I, I love being here. I'm going to give you another uh, a quick uh, a trivia item. Go ahead. Uh, your secret, well, your pet name from your ex-wife, your lovely ex-wife, Allison. Yes. Boop Chenga. Boop Chenga, right. Whoa, Boop Whoa I didn't know that. That is correct. Jesus. You get 10 more points. Thank you. <laughs> Brian is <laughs> Yeah, points. you didn't even need that. Brian is a super uh, fan, man. I've, yeah. We've written letters back yes, and forth. Artie you. actually called my house and wrote me, and Brian, I wrote him back. He's a wonderful man. What's funny about it, uh, you know, when you came in, you were the probably, out of all three guys, bragging the least. You were the most humble when you walked in here. That's why I didn't peg you for the winner. Cyrus, you had me convinced. And Ron, I mean, the way you were talking, you were ready to start betting. Hey, listen, man, I'm slow. I know the answers. I'm slow on the button. And Ron was just trying to psych everybody out. Ron, how do you feel that Brian won, but he is least black? I mean, he's the lightest skin black man here. I think in many other... in many other light are, skin you are, guy. Ron, I think you can put us all together. We, ain't, we don't make a black person all together. No. <laughs> after, hearing about Ron's, after hearing about Ron's life, and I don't mean this to be offensive anyway, but in many ways, Ron is the, the blackest, blackest man up there. <laughs> <laughs> He's living it. <laughs> Ron had a, an unfortunate incident with some women. That's right. <laughs> several, several women. Yeah, seven beautiful kids. Well, yeah, and seven something. accidents. Hey, Howard, I got an F. Mary and kill four for you. you want to ask a question, Ron? Go ahead. I got an F. Mary kill for you. Go ahead. Oh. Oprah Winfrey. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, Monique. Oh. Monique, okay, yes. And uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Oh. Oh, that oh. is a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Well, uh, I think I'd bang Oprah. Oh. I'd marry Monique. Really? Ew. You're killing Whoa. Whoopi Goldberg? I don't want to kill Whoopi. Oh, no. <laughs> She's a friend of the show. Maybe I just bump off all three of them. <laughs> leave, my, leave me out of it. I don't know, man. That is not an option. I don't know if those three are my ladies, but uh, whatever. You gotta choose. You I'd, gotta kill, choose. I'd kill them all and pay for Lola Falana to blow me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta kill Monique because that bitch don't even have a neck. Oh. <laughs> all right, I'll get rid of Monique. Get beautiful black Monique. I'll fuck uh, Oprah and I'll marry Whoopi. How's that? Look at you. Wow. Oh, Oprah man. has more That's money. A hard, that was a good one. All right, I'll marry Oprah and I'll <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough one, Ron. You know, you're giving me too much stress. Let me give you a similar white one. Okay, go ahead. You ready? Go uh, ahead. Okay. Uh, F. Mary Kill. All right. With well, this gonna, choice, I'm, this, I'm, I'm signing up for Ashley Madison. This is for the black. <laughs> this is for Ron, though. I want to hear right, his. Ron, I want to hear his. All right, go okay. ahead. You got. Uh, Okay, um... Ron needs to keep it in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> my opinion. Mean, any more kids? <laughs> yeah, I have another one. I hope it. you're wearing a rubber now these days, are you? No more kids yeah. for no, you. No, I, I got a little rubber on right now. Oh, good. <laughs> so, Don't even go into a place without a rubber. Go ahead quickly, uh, Artie. Okay, um, Elizabeth Taylor, Joan <laughs> Rivers, uh, and then you don't even worry about having kids with those. <laughs> oh. And, uh, Clarice Leachman. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, I'm going to oh, kill Clarice Leachman. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. What's the Elizabeth Taylor? Yeah. I'll, I'll marry her. She's married. She used to get married. Right. <laughs> oh. I'll fuck the other one. Whoever that was. Joan River. <laughs> she go. can't have no kids. Way. And by the way, uh, Brian will be on the uh, All Black Superfan Roundtable tonight on Howard 101 in honor of Black History ah. Month. Brian, you're participating in that. Yes, I am. Yeah, so that should be a lot of fun. It's all black? Uh, all black. Is it black really? Black History Month. What, are you kidding me? Is it just you three or are there a couple other contestants? Where uh, are they? No. You, 
you guys realize we're the only uh, channels? I don't even think the black channels celebrate Black History Month as much as we do. <laughs> we right. love channels. it. Uh, well, you, you've channel. done more for saying. the black man than Tarzan. Absolutely. And uh, by the way, uh, Ron, you didn't win today, but I think we can actually arrange for you to fuck Joan Rivers. Oh. If you really want that to happen. Set it up, Alan. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens. No Ron, that's there. two phone calls.